What is going on everybody? This is your boy KMac, and welcome back to my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke run. Now in the last episode we made it through Mount Moon. We took a little bit longer than expected to do that. So I ended up uh, making that an entire episode. But as you can see we are through Mount Moon. We are on to Cerulean City and we are about to um, take on Misty. Now I know the objectives down there and the badge is and all that stuff is incorrect. And that is just an editing error. Um, a little bug I'm trying to work out right now with that. That is my fault. I will have that sorted out in the next video or so. Um, so please just ignore those goals. Those goals are, are for the next episode. I mean, those are eventually our goals to see some titties. Everyone loves big ass titties um, on the SSAN and take out Lieutenant Surge. But our current goals right now are to, um, you know, take on our rival, level up some, grind some levels with Badger. And, um, you know, basically see if we can get Misty's number and, you know, try and hit that. But uh, we'll get to that. Right now we are going to try and um, I really want to get Badger some levels, like I said. Um, I know there's a rival battle up here with Gus or Blue or, or Gary, whatever you want to call our rival. I like to call him Asshole because I don't like him. But um, we are going to try and level up our Magikarp Badger into a Gyarados. And that is what I'm going to uh, use to take on Misty. Uh, just because I don't really have a whole lot of anything that can take on water type at the moment. And water flying type, um, which is Gyarados, uh, is going to be our best bet. Because it's, it's got a gonna have an iron bite, which is a stab attack. And it's going to be really our only option. Unless we go up here and catch an Oddish or something. Which we're going to be into a little bit later. But let's go ahead and jump right into this. Uh, rival battle. I think he has a Pidgeotto, an Abra, a Ratatat, uh, and a Starter, if I remember correctly. It shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem. We are we are pretty high level. We're properly leveled for this kind of battle. Um, at least um, Jesse is. Now, we're going to try and get Badger some levels. Like I said, we're going to try and grind him up. Um, him and Skinny Pete are going to be my next projects, I guess you could call them, where I try and, um, you know... Leveled them up. Ooh, oh, ooh, shit, that was more damage than I thought it would do. Uh, let's get him out of there. Uh, ooh, water gun. Oh, shit, I really don't. Mega punch? Oh, lo oh look at that. Crit hit mega punch. That's, uh, that that could have that could have saved the day right there. A couple more water guns, um, and I would have been screwed and tattooed right there. But uh, we'll take the crit hit on the mega punch. We'll take that. Uh, sometimes you got to get lucky in a Nuzlocke like run, and that's just another example of that. Not losing my main party member this early in. Um, that would have been totally a crippling blow, but, um, you know, we made it through. Um, I believe the Abra just, just knows teleport, so that one's a pushover. We'll get Skinny Beat some easy XP right there. Uh, I do want to throw Badger out there one more time. Uh, hoping we don't get a crit hit on a, a Hyper Fang or something like that, because I know it knows it. Okay, so that wasn't too bad. Uh, we whooped our rival's ass yet again. Blah, blah, blah. Take it easy. I'm a total pussy. Um fucking hate this guy. Total, total chode. But, uh, let's go ahead and after he gives us all this bullshit, I believe he comes back and gives you some other bullshit you never use. Um, something stupid. I don't know. Let's go after, after this. Let's go get a quick heal. We will try and take on the, I believe it's five trainers, uh, and then the Team Rocket boss. Uh, we'll go ahead and take them on right here. Um, I believe they give you a nugget for beating all five of them and then beating the leader as well. Could be wrong on that, could be wrong on that, but um, I do believe that's what it goes. Now we are looking, to, like I said, to get a Gyarados because Gyarados is going to be one of our stronger party members and I really foresee uh, Gyarados um, really being there until the end. Him and my going to be Charizard are going to be my main party members for the time being. Uh, just need to uh, take so much grinding. I believe it evolves at level 20, and um, only knowing Splash, and I believe it learns Tackle pretty soon, but still a weak move and a weak um, attack. It uh, It's still really hard to level him up, um, especially when, he, like I said, he can't take out any Pokemon by himself. You have to switch him in and out, and I don't have an EXP share like in X and Y, where it's super, super easy to level, level your back Pokemon up and keep them all at the same level, which I kind of enjoyed, but at the same time, it did make the game kind of super easy in my opinion. I mean, it was one of the easiest Pokemon games I've ever played. Um, but it was fun. I did like X and Y. Um, I did enjoy them. Uh, but I enjoyed this generation a hell of a lot more just because of the nostalgic factor. 
along with um, my knowledge of this one is just so much better. I didn't know shit in X and Y. In this game, I know literally everything. I know where the hidden items are. Um, I know where the hidden... Everything's at. I know there was a hidden rare candy down there in Cerulean City. I'm going to grab them a little bit. I know every garbage can that has a berry in it or every garbage can that has uh, something in it. I know where it's at. And it's, it's, just, it's just fun to, to relive all this moments. I remember the first time I ever played Pokemon um, was Pokemon Yellow when I was about five, and it was so awesome. One of the best experiences of your life. Like, uh, never again will I have that experience of walking out into a Pokemon world like that for the first time and not knowing what what's out there. I mean, yeah, there'll be new Pokemon games, but it's it's never quite the same as the first time you play Pokemon. There's nothing that can touch that. When you get into a, a, the, for your first Pokemon world for the first time, it's just an amazing feeling. And uh, it really hooks you. It really does. So that's why I've loved, loved Pokemon for, you know, 15 plus years now and um, I, I plan on playing it until the day I die and I, I really do plan on uh, giving this game and some of my original Game Boy games like their OG ones um, to my future children that I really want them to play some of the stuff that I grew up on um, by then I'm sure it'll be so shitty looking and it'll be totally outdone by modern stuff at the time that it'll be look like looking back at an Atari like today but um you know, I want them to appreciate Pokemon and the Xbox 360 and GameCube and N64 when they are growing up in, let's say, 20 years from now, because I'm not having kids anytime soon. But um, we are making a uh, good, uh, good pace here through all these trainers. Um, not really anything special. Uh, nothing that Jesse can't handle. Uh, just really mowing through them. Uh, I do really... Um, hope that we can go up here in this patch of grass on this new route. Uh, I know you can catch an Otis, a Bell Sprout, and uh, there's like a Pidgey and like a Weedle and Caterpie I believe you can catch, but I'm really hoping for an Oddish or a Bell Sprout just because I could use that grass typing against uh, Misty. It would really help. I'm really looking to replace Marie the Wigglytuff because it is like level 3 and uh, doesn't know any good moves and it, I don't know. I'm looking to replace it. So uh, an Oddish or a Bell Sprout would be Awesome! It would help us out immensely in our um, our trouble fight against Misty. Um, but we'll see what we get when we get there. Uh, right now, I want to get a quick heal in on Jesse. Give him another potion. Uh, I don't want to take any chances here as we go into fighting the um, the undercover rocket boss douchebag guy. And, and when I was a kid, I, um, when I first played this through, and I I read all the text. And it said, would you like to join Team Rocket? You know, and, and I was sitting there, and I'm like, where's the where's the yes button? Where Where's the hell yes button? Where's Where do I, where do I sign up for this? And I, I was so confused that there was no yes button. And there, you could only say no uh, when I was like five. I was I, I want to do this. I, I, I want to join Team Rocket. And ever since then, I've always wondered what it would be like if you could be able to say yes there. Like if, like if someone, I know people make Pokemon modded games nowadays on their ROMs, they add whole uh, cities, they add whole caves and stuff like that. What if someone were to um, make a game or a playthrough, playable ROM, where you play through normally until you get there and then you have the option of to hit no and play through it like a normal game or you hit yes and then you go to this modded part of the game where you join Team Rocket, your guy puts on dark clothes and you go do evil things. And I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be so cool. I would I would play the hell out of that. I would pay money. I'd pay more money than I paid for X and Y to play that, that add-on to the original game just because I, I respect it more. But uh, right here, like I said, there is a hidden rare candy that I, I, I don't know why, but I remember just about everything there is to remember in this game. And I, I, I know that a lot of people don't like to use rare candies in Nuzlocke runs. They say it's kind of cheap, and they say la la la. But uh, this is my run. This is, uh, you know, all these rules are self-imposed. Um, and you make your rules as you go. And I feel if the rare candies are in the game and that you find them, um, you're not using a game shark or any kind of hack, uh, as long as it's in the game, I say go for it. I really do. Um, I know a lot of people are against that. But, you know, you know fuck them. This is <laughs> pretty much, this is my run, not their run. So they can, uh, they can STF you, pretty much. But uh, let's go over here. I'll get this HTM, a track that's kind of useless. Um, I'm going to fight this trainer, this hiker with his Machop, and probably Geodude or Onyx, if I had to guess. 
Um, and then we're going to try and catch an Oddish or a Bellspot. I really like an Oddish. Absorb is super powerful against water type um, Pokemon. So that would be bueno if we could get an Oddish. I'm really pulling for that. But uh, we'll see. I, I believe you can also get a Weedle and a Caterpie and a Pidgey in that grass if I'm not mistaken. But um, oh shit, we better, we better heal up here. Let's go ahead and use a Super Potion on Jesse just so we don't lose anybody here. We have a whole lot of trainers after this two battle as well. I believe there's like 10 more trainers on the way to Bill's house to get the SSN tickets. So we might have to go heal up after this um, encounter in the wild here. But but let's go into this grass right now and check this out. See what we can get. And fingers crossed. Oh god, it's a Weedle. I don't even want a Weedle. I, want a weedle. I really, I don't, I really don't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna catch it just because I need Pokemon in the bank just in case. Someone goes down, but not be my Weedle would not be my number one pick. I'm not even gonna nickname it. I don't even care. I'm, per I'm definitely never gonna use it. If I have to use that Weedle, this Nuzlocke run is gonna be in bad, bad shape. But uh, that's kind of disappointing. It really, that's because I was really hoping it really is. I was really hoping for a butt type Pokemon there. But what can you do? I, you know what can you do? That's, that's the point of a Nuzlocke run. You, you, know, you get what you get, and you don't throw a fit, um, as my mom would say, but she's super lame. But uh, let's go ahead and just grind through all of these trainers. Ooh, look at that one shot right there with that Mega Punch. I really like Mega Punch. Let's go ahead and grind through all of these trainers, get the bills, and then we'll take out Misty. And I think we'll wrap the episode around there. It should be somewhere around 20, 25 minutes if we um, are on pace. But, um, you know, I really want to talk to you guys about questions. We've got a, um, we got a lot, lot of questions. A lot, lot of questions actually lately. It's actually lately. On Twitter, and I've got people DMing me, um, asking me all kinds of things. And one of the, one of the biggest questions is, um, why and when did I start YouTube? But that's, that's a complicated question. Let's first off, let's start off with the when. Now, um, my channel was originally made back in 2007 when I was a freshman in high school. And back then, um, I was playing Call of Duty Call of Duty 3, Call of Duty 4. I, the first Call of Duty game I ever played was COD 3, so... I did I, for, th for, three, for 360, I played it online, I was actually really, really good at it. I had a clan on game battles, and uh, we almost had the playoffs, blah, blah, blah. That's, uh, that's a story for another day. But anyway, I really wanted to get um, before YouTube um, before, before there was even money in it. I really did. I wanted to get into YouTube so, so bad back in the day um, when I was about 15. You know, I wanted to get back, I wanted to get into it a lot. Um, so I went out and I bought a Dazzle capture card. Um, right before, or right as, um, Modern Warfare was coming out, COD 4. But the problem with that, at the time, have, at the time, have a PC at home, or a laptop at home, that was capable of, um, rec of having the running software, and uploading, and all the editing, and all the voiceover, and have a microphone. I didn't have anything, um, uh, technology-wise, available to me, or the money to buy it at the time. So, I basically went on a shelf for a long time. Um, I remember, uh, I actually, the I, the one weekend, I borrowed a buddy's laptop, and I did record some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, um, way back, this was before YouTube was exploded gaming-wise, and I put up a video and titled it something like, World's Greatest Grenade Throw Modern Warfare 2, and it got like 40,000 views, um, and that makes me so mad, because, um, uh, not bad because I got the views, but mad because if I would have actually started started then if I would had my setup that I have now then and been doing what I love to do now then because I knew I wanted to do it but I just couldn't do it back then but if I would have been able to um who, who knows where my channel would be I mean I'm sitting I'm not complaining about where I'm at now I love that where I'm at now it's over 32,000 subscribers you know over 6 million views you know I love that I love all my subscribers and I thank you all for that but just thinking back if if that one video I put up I didn't even use tags. I didn't know anything about tags. I didn't know anything about descriptions or anything like that. I just put it up, titled it something stupid, and it got 30,000 views, um, which is a lot, which is a lot to me at least. And and, um, and that that was back in the day. People were just putting up gameplays. They were putting up just just straight gameplays, no commentating, or maybe they'd voice over it, and it would just the title would just be MW2, you know, 65 and 12 at Favela. And it would get 20,000 views. Like, now that's, that is on unreachable goal right now. If you were to go make a COD Ghost gameplay and title it Call of Duty Ghost, 
you know, 25 and 11 gameplay at such and such map, it might get you 6 to 20 views. Just because there's so many people out there doing it, and it's oversaturated, and um, it, it, it's just, I want to kick myself for not starting earlier, is basically what I want to say about that. But that's the, um, that's the when part of when I wanted to start the, my channel. Um, I officially... Uh, or I technically started it in 2007 uh, when I when I wanted to, but I didn't actually get the equipment, my MacBook, my microphone, my capture card, all that stuff until late 2011. So it was probably the end of the original Black Ops, the beginning of Modern Warfare 3 era is when I got my original stuff and started making commentaries. I remember doing a lot of my first commentaries were over Halo Reach gameplay. And um, I really wish I would have started sooner. But getting back to the question as to why I started YouTube, um, I just, why I started YouTube, I just remember, I remember watching those gameplays on YouTube. Like I remember seeing them on a, a couple people at my high school are watching them on YouTube during, you know, lunch or something like during, um, study hall uh, on the computers and I was just like I was like you know what those gameplays they're not that good like I remember why why I remember thinking why is this gameplay on the internet why is this guy bragging about his 22 and you know 12 game when I get you know I get 60 kill games and I get them like they're nothing and I you know like and these people are getting recognized for their subpar gameplay and it made me think you know if, if these people could do that then maybe I could too but let's go ahead and use the two rare candies level up badger to level 20 and get that Gyarados just in time to uh, go take on Misty. But to getting back to what I was talking about, I really thought my gameplays were, were better. And for the most part, they they are. I mean, nowadays, not so much. I mean, nowadays, you have people like Jay Nasty and, you know, Girl Gone Gamer. And people like that, they're throwing up, you know, 100, 150 kill gameplays on, you know, on Ground Wars. And they're throwing up, you know, they're throwing up triple Moabs back in the day. They're throwing up chem strikes like crazy and you know you know what now that there's money involved in it and now that there's more people doing it i knew that somebody would take it to the extreme like that and put up gameplays that are just on untouchable when they run with a full team and stuff like that but uh, back in the day before it all got big um gameplay wise i probably could have hung with just about anybody back in the day but uh, that's 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 pretty much all i want to talk about about that let's go ahead and heal up and now that we have our party set let's go ahead and take on misty i believe there are two trainers in um in this gym i believe they have, like horses uh i think one has uh goldine and maybe a cloister not cloister a shelter um not too terribly sure on that. I'm going to get some Marie off a level or two here just in case um, push comes to shove and I need to get out there and do something with it. God forbid that happens, but um, I need to get a level higher than three. I can't have a level three party member at the moment. It's just, it's just not, not good. And I also want to get Mike some levels if I can and uh, try and get to Butterfree as soon as possible because I, I would like to have that psychic typing in my back pocket. Um, even though it is very weak to um, most types, it's weak to fire, ice, rock, you know, psychic, poison. It's it's weak to a lot of things. Um, but it's nice. It would be nice to have that psychic type. And I, I have a couple ideas of where to get a psychic type. I know I can catch a ghastly in the lavender city. I know I can catch an. I might be able to catch an abra if I can get lucky enough to par paralyze it and catch it first try. And there's a patch of grass um, coming up pretty quick. Outside of Diglett's Cave, where you can get a, a drowsy, so um, hopefully a drowsy, a drowsy will show up there because that'd be a sweet Pokemon that I have. I think it's like Psychic and Poison type in this generation. Could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But um, it'd be nice to have him. It'd be nice to have him. I, I eventually you could get a Hypno, and it learns like Psychic and all the kinds of fun stuff. Um, it would be a cool Pokemon to have. Uh, I don't think I've ever done a, a run through with a drowsy, even though it's a more powerful Pokemon, but let's go ahead right now and take on Misty. I believe she has a level like 18 to 20 star you and level 20 ish uh, star me. So, um, should be pretty interesting. Let's go ahead and take her on. But to look at that little body on her, shit, we should get that number. We should get the number. I, I really believe that she is the hottest gym leader. Um, probably out of the gym leaders, I'd probably bang. I'd, she's probably the hottest, but the next hottest would probably be Sabrina, followed by Erica. Maybe I think those are the three hottest Gen One gym leaders. Um, obviously, Blaine, the 
the seventh simulator was the hottest. I'm <laughs> just joking, no homo on that. But um, anyway, getting to the Vectus battle, it oost, it flinched. That's why I also love Bite, um, the dark type. Um, Star Me is actually part psychic type, that dark type innate move in this generation. Um, um, is going to do super damage because it's going to be super effective and it should take maybe two or three bites to um, take out the Starmie if it doesn't use Recover or Super Potion because I know that Misty is notorious for doing shit like that. But um, it should, yeah, two or three shots shouldn't be too bad. All it, it's going to hit me with Swift. It shouldn't be too bad. Um, yep, one more unless it recovers. Okay, she's a Super Potion. Okay, yeah. What a total bitch. What a cunt sandwich. But still shouldn't be a problem. Um, you know, me at all, uh, me at all, this, should have this, one or two more, one or two more moves, if it long enough, okay, we should have this, one more move, so this video is coming to a close, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video, I know that these videos are kind of long-winded, and you don't like to hear me talk maybe as much as I do, but I really do appreciate that you guys stick through the video this long, and I really do appreciate it when you guys hit that like button, it really helps this channel immensely when you guys hit that like button, you have no idea if you guys take the two seconds to go click that like button, it'd be very much appreciated. And make sure you guys are tuning in for this. I'm going to be putting these uh, videos out every Tuesday and Thursday of the week. So I'll be putting two of these videos out a week. And uh, make sure you guys are subscribing if it's the first time you guys are around here. So you guys can get all these videos along with my other videos in your sub box. Um, and as always, there is a code word to let me guys to let me know that you guys made it this far in the video. And this week's code word is chapstick. So go ahead and leave a comment with chapstick in it. And I know you guys watch the video to the end, and I would really appreciate it. And I love you guys. And as always, guys, game the fuck on. Until next time, peace out.